Dominic Caddy here with Stare Down TV. I'm here with Jay the Nightmare Shepherd. How's your weekend? Yeah. Brilliant weekend, mate. Brilliant weekend. Get up too much? Just watching the um the promos on Con versus Crawford. Oh yeah, we should. So before we get into your stuff, let's go quickly get into that. What's your prediction for that? Oh man, I, I'm a massive Con fan, but it's it's a brilliant matchup, man. I just feel Crawford could finish it. If if Khan sticks to his game plan and doesn't get um carried away into into exchanges, he could he could win. Mate, it's it's possible. I think with the problem with Khan is, you know, sometimes he, he lets that chin stick out there. And with someone like Crawford who's who's you know, he he's finished people in the final rounds before, it, it's a deadly it's a deadly do it for the whole for the whole twelve rounds. But uh if you're interested to see what happens, it um it really will. But this isn't an Amir Khan Terrence Crawford breakdown, this is a Jay Shepherd fight recap. So Jay you fought Calvin. <laughs> you fought Calvin. You've had him. You know. You've had your beef with him. You said it in the interview. You fought him on Saturday at your call at MTK MMA. I'll let you tell everyone what happened. Well, just like I said before, I don't think I said it in the interview, but I told people I'm going to take him out in a second. Yeah, um, had my plan. I know. Look, he's tough. He's a tough guy, he could take them on the chin. He does get hurt, but um, he recovers really quick. So I said, anything from the chest down, he doesn't back. Because right? I remember our first fight, I hit him with some body shots and some knees, and he didn't like that at all. And then I, and then I hit him with a, um, a leg kick, and he, like, you know, he couldn't handle that. And I did that when I was tired in the third round. So I thought, yeah, let's just pick it, let's just pick it off early, his movement, and just show everyone, show everyone. I have been working on stuff and yeah. there's plenty more to come from me. That's it, mate. Well, you're throwing some beautiful inside. You were going for the inside leg kicks. Um, you know, they were catching him. Uh, after the fight, I saw you, you were limping around. Was that just a bit of damage? Did, like, was it just bruising? Like, what happened there? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it's, it's all right now. I'm just limping a little bit. But yeah, man, my, my shins were grazed. My foot, my foot was swollen. You know, yeah. I, I don't, I, I wasn't thinking about are, are they gonna hurt? Like, forget that, innit? If if it's gonna hurt me, it's gonna hurt him tenfold. Do you know what I mean? Because I got to kick on. That's it, man. And, you know, Calvin in the first round, he started. He was coming for you. He was chasing after you. And you know, you, I've got it on. Uh, I got it. I put it on my story. You literally picking him up and slamming him to the ground. It was. Uh, and then you had him right at the end of the round. You had him pressed up against the cage. You you know you you were raining down on him. Um, going into the second round more of the same. He was probably he wasn't really throwing combos, he was throwing single shots trying to land on you. You were avoiding them. Kept going back to the leg kicks. You know, you you, you dropped him, you jumped on top. The ref jumped in. I don't think anyone would argue the stoppage. No like no one will except Calvin. He was he was very unhappy about that, you know. Mate, I was more than willing <clears throat> for, for 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 the assault to carry on like, like I said, I was gonna punish him. They, like I was gonna make him not want to fight me again, you know, with no doubt. Even though the first fight it was it was a one-sided fight, but I did that. Cast myself out. I just wanted to. I just wanted to put some. And I said I, I I get to land elbows on you this time. Like there's nothing there's nothing restricting me from doing what I need to do to you. And yeah, I was just gonna show everyone you me. Well, even before the fight, man, you know, I was there when you were all standing there in your tracksuit and stuff. You know, you two were going at it. You two were ready to fight. Three hours before the first fight of the night. Well, that was the thing. Um, he, yeah, what he was trying to get into my head, man. And you know, I'm, I'm a pretty hot headed person, to be fair. Like when, when it comes to confrontation and stuff, like I'm no stranger to it. And um, yeah, he just tried to stare me down, man. Like, when I was walking past, I said, I said to him, I was like, "Don't worry, that like, it's happening. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna happen. Like it's, it's soon, really soon." And then he just started shouting. And um, just talking a bunch of shit, really. And yeah, I got here. I said, I can go outside now. Like, you know, and I had to just kind of like withdraw myself from, from it, you know, because I got good people around me, you know, that like helped me rein it back in and stuff and get me back to focus. And he, like, even when I was getting my hands wrapped, he's like, it's go time, it's go time, trying to wind me up. And I was just like, yeah, this guy's desperate, man. Like, he, he, he wants that same kind of fight, but 
he, he ain't going to get that. I'm, I'm going to embarrass him. I'm going to put him through the pain. And that's why he wasn't happy about it because he was embarrassed. He's never been um, broken down like that before and finished. And obviously, he left the cage before the the official decision. So, you know, you couldn't even do maybe the respectful handshake or anything like that. Did you catch up with him at all? Like, I, I, don't, I didn't see him the rest of the night. Did he literally just go? What happened, you know? Um, apparently, he was a bit busted. He, like, he was pretty busted up in the back for a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, he looked a mess. Um, yeah, he just left. Listen, I don't... Like, that's it. I put it to bed now. He's... I won't say anything to him. I won't even shake his hand. I just think he's an idiot. But yeah, that's me now. I don't. I wouldn't even look at him anymore. I just walk straight past him. It's not worth yeah. my time. Well, mate, you you know you you ended it there and then on Saturday. Um, now you've gotten over that chapter. Do you know what's going to be next for you? Are you going to like look to get on maybe better tour London? Like, what's what's thoughts for you in your head right now? What's the plan? There's things and offers. I've had I've, I've, I've had a few offers come my way and. Um, I should have some fight news for you guys soon. Quality, mate. Quality. And, mate, do you know what? You called it. Um, I talked to, to Tony Hall earlier on today. Um, you know, you said him and Mike Hales, both your boys, you, you, you called it. You said it's going to be a mad fight. And, you know, in the pot, like, you know, you had a great fight. Teo had a great fight. But for me, Tony versus Mike was fight of the night. 100%. And that stuff there, yeah. They had everything. They, they had everything, you know. And you know, I'm lucky to Mark. Like I said to Mark before, I said, like, like it was a quality fight. Like, like it, it just, I mean, it's just one, 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 one lip up or whatever. You know, it's MMA, man. That's the beauty of the sport. You know, that's what keeps me going. You know, just, just, just the how many times and you no, know, how many different ways you could finish the fight and. Yeah, that was a cracking fight. They both saw great heart, determination. And of it, unfortunately, there has to be a loser, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Have you have you spoke to Mike since, did you say? Um, I spoke to him afterwards. Like, he, he, he took it well. I just said to him, listen, man, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Anymore. Like, you, you, you brought it. That was so entertaining. Hmm. Like, just, I mean, he, you know, just showed how gritty Tony was. But Mike, I said to Tony, I was like, you know, there were times before how are you going to get out of this? Because he was just throwing those knees and the elbows. It was it was brutal. You know, Mike's definitely got the skill. Uh, it's just Tony, you know, he just he just had the heart and um, he managed to back it up. So it was a it was a great fight. So what did you do after after the show wrapped up? What did you get up to? Um, I went to it, man. <laughs> yeah. And we're getting in a bit late. Yeah. <laughs> nice mate. And I saw you um you know, I saw in your story you went out go you went steak and lobster after that was the uh was that celebratory dinner, yeah? Yeah, my boys in that place, you know. It's good to eat. It's okay. good to eat, man. It's back healthy again. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, mate, I bet. So how quickly do you want to get back in there? Do you have a timeline in place? Like is, is it dependent on maybe your foot? Next month, June. Nah, my foot, my foot will be fine next week. And I'm, I'm, I'm just taking a week off and I'm straight back in. So I'm, I'm ready for um, any call up and back down at Walterweight now. So that's good. Nice man, that's really good to hear. Um, you know, your walkouts so when you walked out to to Nipsey Hustle was that always in the plan or was it after the news you thought I'm gonna dedicate it to him? Yeah, man, because I he was so like. Ways from what he's been doing and stuff, you know, like returning and, and what he does for his community is really okay, it's, it's inspiring, man. So it's a shame what happened to him. So I thought that's the least I can do. Plus, fucking his music's sick, isn't it? <laughs> it is, mate. It is. And, you know, grinding all life's up there. Um, you know, some of the songs the one he did with Kendrick Lamar, dedicated. That's also a great one. But uh, it really is. It really was. Uh, it was fitting as well. You know, it seemed like. You're finally just getting over this last this hurdle with uh, with Calvin. You can finally put it to rest, and you know it felt like um, it felt like that finally did happen. So, mate, congratulations. So, you're taking a week off. Much plan for this week, or are you just going to chill out? I'm chill out, eat, <laughs> and yeah, back to the drawing board, okay, man. So, show you something better next time. Quality, man. Well, hopefully, I'll get the uh, I'll get the update on your next fight, man, and. Um, we definitely have another catch up. Uh, definitely, what we do need to do at some point while you're off is um, I think we should do an Instagram live of us playing each other on FIFA because we said it 
the, the fight's out of the way now. Like, you can't use that as the excuse anymore. Like, we, this needs to happen. Yeah, we need to do it. We need to do it 100%. 100%. I'm on it. All right, man. We'll get it sorted out this week. But, mate, you know, Jay, really appreciate it. Jay, the Nightmare Shepherd. Um, can't wait to see what's next, my man. Thank you, man. I'll keep you posted, bro. Legend. Cheers, pal. See you later. Yeah.